I'm Tasha Murray with the Invasive Species Council of Metro Vancouver and I'd like to introduce you to Japanese butter burr, an invasive plant here in British Columbia. And it actually has a lot of different common names. Japanese butter burr is quite exotic looking. It has these huge leaves and the edges of the leaves are sort of jagged and underneath it's actually fuzzy. And Japanese butter burr spreads by underground stems and it has the leaves have these huge stalks. These are called petioles. Um, that actually emerge from the underground stems. And so you get this effect that it looks like many leaves, large leaves sticking up from the ground. So this was pulled from the end of a rhizome. You can see the rhizome here with all the little roots. This part would have been completely underground. And then here is a pedial or a leaf stalk um, with a tiny little leaf emerging. This is a perennial plant that emerges in late winter or early spring. Interestingly, the spikes of small white sweet smelling flowers appear before the leaves. The flower and stalk of Japanese butter burr are actually edible. Um, there's a word called fuki, which is the name for the Japanese dish for the cooked stalks of Japanese butter burr. It's important to note, however, that the leaves of Japanese butter burr are toxic and can cause liver damage. So if you're intending to consume this plant, you really need to do your homework and make sure you're preparing it in a way that is safe. Japanese butter burr prefers soggy soil. So this is a great example of the type of habitat where you'd find butter burr around streams and ponds and maybe also wooded areas. As long as the ground is consistently wet, Japanese butter burr can grow in pretty much any kind of soil or environmental conditions. This plant can quickly invade an area, shading out other plants because of its enormous leaves. Gardeners sometimes plant Japanese butter burr, but even if it's contained, say in a pot, it can still invade very easily. And we find that Japanese butter burr is actually invasive in parks and green spaces in sensitive areas within Metro Vancouver. Once established, Japanese butter burr is really difficult to get rid of, especially if you have a large infestation like this. You can hand pull the leaves and dig out the rhizomes, but it will continue to re-sprout, and so you'll have to do that for a few years. You can also mow it. That will not get rid of the plants, but it will help keep it contained and help you manage it every year. Japanese butter burr is not widespread in Metro Vancouver, but we're trying to figure out where it's growing and how fast it's spreading. So if you've seen this plant, please report it, especially if you find it in a public space like a park or along a trail. You can download a free app called Report Invasives BC, and you can use that to identify and report invasive plants across BC. You can also just send us a report directly. Check out the description below for information about how to report. We also ask that people not plant Japanese butter burr. Don't buy it or trade it or sell it. And please, manage your invasive species. Remove them and replace them with non-invasive alternatives. You can find good suggestions at growgreenguide.ca. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on social media and check out www.iscmv.ca for more information.